Salesforce is a cloud-based application, is a CRM. In the CRM, it, from the process perspective, it has a three processes. It has a marketing, it has a sales and service, and then it has a several functions, many functions. And we got some of those functions, we'll talk today, that what other functions are partner management, community management, how we can do different customer interactions, the scheduling tasks, emailing them, texting them, and some of the things I will show you in the system as well, how some of those functions can be performed. Salesforce is a cloud software. It's a primarily a cloud company. Talking about history, so Salesforce was established in 1999. So it's almost 18 years, um, old company now. And uh, their CEO is uh, Mark Benoff. Uh, Mark came out of Oracle. He was working with them uh, in, in a Oracle. And then he started his own company, Salesforce. Uh, it has 82,000 companies. And it's more, this is a bit of an old number. So as far as uh, uh, Salesforce is concerned, and the number of customers is concerned, uh, Salesforce has been a leader. Salesforce is a leader. And uh, from IT perspective, it's a fairly old company. Uh, it's not that new. It's um, 18 years, 1999. So when you talk about in comparison to, you know, Twitter and, and Facebook and many other companies, Salesforce is relatively old company, established in 1999. Mark Benoff, uh, this is a picture of a gentleman, uh, Mark, and uh, of course, he's a rich person, 4.2 billion. Uh, how much 4.2 billion? I don't know, and that's a little too much. Now, some of the functionality, and we'll talk about and I will show you some of the Salesforce as well. Um, there is something called opportunity management. There is something called lead management, account management, contact management, task management, event management, report management. So when you log into SAP, Salesforce, this is Salesforce in front of you. And you can have some of these functions here. Contact management account management, lead management, opportunity management, you can have different reports, you can create dashboards, you can chatter, you can load files, you can create your product, forecast. And we will talk about more and more. So this is it. this is Salesforce, what you look at in front of you. So opportunity is basically a prospect which we have a potential to buy. Lead is a, is a prospect. Account is a customer. Contact is a person. So Michael, I have a Thomas, which is working on the company, that is contact. Tasks and events are basically the various tasks and events which we can do in SAP CRM. You can send email, you can do various events. SAP CRM allow you to do that. If you go to any kind of lead, and this is an actual data, you wanna create a new task, you wanna create a new event, you wanna create a new meeting request, you wanna send an email, some of those functions. This is the architecture of Salesforce. When we talk in architecture, um, it has all these different functions. The, the first layer, which you see on the top, is presentation layer or various functions which SAP CRM can support. It is a sales function. 
service function and we'll talk a little bit more about that. It is a marketing function. It allows you to chat up. So you can do chat functionality. It allows you is inbuilt within Salesforce with your contacts and others. Jigsaw is a data provider, salesforce.com, database.com, these are some of the data providers. Then we have, these are different applications. And in the bottom, we have a different data sources. Application, uh, presentation, application, and database. So it's a three layer architecture from the architecture perspective. Now when we talk about business processes, so in SAP CR, uh, in Salesforce CRM, you have a primary three processes, only three processes. You have a sales, service, and marketing. Only three processes. There is no other processes from the process perspective which is sales, service, and marketing. There is no finance, there is no production, there is no inventory, there is no logistics, there is no other functions which you can think of. And that is by design because SAP Salesforce being a CRM focuses on sales function and service function and all processes which face customer. So customer relationship management primarily means having processes which will face a customer. So when you talk about the customer facing processes, you have a sales process, service process, marketing process. Now marketing basically means finding a prospect. You're doing campaign. There's a marketing. You see an advertisement on TV is a marketing. You open a newspaper, you see an advertisement, marketing. You open uh, your mailbox and you get a uh, you know, Amazon.com, you know, some email which is there advertising something, marketing. Then once you have a prospect, and then sales is converting that prospect into a customer. And service, if they have any problem after we sell them, after the selling process is completed, and then we have service. So marketing, sales, service. Finding the prospect, converting those prospects into customers, and then keeping those customers with us possibly forever. So only three processes. Of course, it has other functions. Community cloud, web analytics, there are different apps. IoT means internet of things. It's a new concept. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. But primarily, is a sales, service, and marketing from the process perspective. Talking about the sales, sales has a various functions in the sales. Sales allows us converting a prospect into a customer. So if I have a customer, if I have a prospect, then we convert that prospect into customer. That is the function of sales. So sales cloud has various functions in it. If you look at here in the, it is account management, contact management, it is opportunity management, and these are some other functions, partner management, analytics, reports, email, chartering, but primary from the process perspective, in the sales, you have the contact management, opportunity management, lead management, analytic reporting. These are some of the functions. So first and foremost, contact management, opportunity management, opportunity life cycle. Now what is the example of opportunity? I need a prospect in a convention in New York. And when we met in the New York in convention, we exchanged the card. 
when we exchange the card, customer show the interest. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested in it. And once he showed the interest, we came back here and we make a presentation, we make a demo, we submit a proposal, we do the discussions, we do the negotiations, and after that we close the deal. That is opportunity management. There is something called Salesforce IQ inbox. We we'll talk about that, in which you can have a analytics inbuilt for certain insights for the customer. Customer for engage, how you can do cross selling and engage out the customer. How can you collaborate with your customers and business partners? Lead management, lead is your prospects. So list of your prospects. So you can have a different process. So if you go to lead, and you can have a different lead. This is all my leads. You can have a lead management. You can have a different sales data. Marketing automation basically means uh, doing campaign automatically. So for example, the example of a marketing automation could be that we have um, an example of sending mass emails. So I have um, 20,000 leads and I want to send them a happy Father's Day email. On uh, July 4th, I want to send them an automatic prospect of email automation. You can have a sales data, which you have sales information, which is you can buy from external sources like data.com and other partner management. Now many times your company handles with the partners. You're not working with with the customers. Your customer is your partner. You have agencies, you have distributors, you have a dealer network. Like for example SAP, when SAP is selling licenses, they don't sell most of the cases directly with customer. Their license is sold by their partners. So how we can manage our partners, and because it is the partners who are driving the sales, so we can have a partner management as well. Lightning voice, how can you connect to a voice? If I have to somebody make a phone call and attend a call, there are different mobile apps, so SAP Sales Cloud has, and, and Salesforce has different mobile apps, which are available on Android and iOS platform. Then workflow and approvals. So workflow basically means where we can have um, uh, different kind of um, um, workflow. A workflow example could be when I can send an email. Every, uh, once the, my lead is expiring, I want to send an, an email workflow. Approval, where I have a prospect and I need an approval. And once that prospect is verified, is approved, is assigned to a sales manager. You can have inside sales. Inside sales com console basically means where you have an inside sales, the person who's sitting in your company, who's making a uh, phone calls, who's calling data, that is inside sales. Email integration, so you can directly send email from, um, from Salesforce. Salesforce allow you to send the email. You can do different kind of file sync and share. So when you look into um, here, there's a possibility of uploading different kind of files. So there is a whole file tab where you can upload file, you can maintain file. Report and dashboards, you can have a different kind of reports. If you see here, there's a reports and you can also have a different kind of dashboards. You can create opportunity by country and performance dashboard and some of them uh, which you can develop. These are some of them which I use. Um, you can create different dashboards. There are different dashboard functions. This is my dashboard. Okay. So this is the dashboard. An example of it. I'm showing a real uh, Salesforce uh, system also along with it. Territory management. So territory management basically, when we allow our market to be demarketed geographically, that is called territory management. So I have a US market and I can define my US market 
in different uh, territories, east, west, north, south. A lot of people do use uh, territory management quite a lot in the real world. And the purpose of using territory management in the real world is because with the help of territory, a uh, lot of people can do a marketing and segmentation. And then they say, okay, how much I'm, how I'm doing in East, how I'm doing in West, who is my sales manager in the West, who is my sales manager in East, what is my growth pattern in the East versus West versus South. So a lot of people do a lot of those geographical uh, demarcation of the market and they check the performance of these market. There's a sales web analytics, which basically means it's a web-based uh, reporting and analytic tools within uh, Salesforce. This is uh, an example of a lead and a lead dashboard you can see, uh, where you can, this is my different lead and edit, and you can go into the detail. If I show you in the in actual Salesforce, if I go to the lead, I can, I can define lead, like uh, how much you lead of, you know, this person, how many leads of, you can create different filters of this person, how many are leads of, which is unqualified, how many leads are there, which is um, in, uh, based out of uh, this country, and then you have different lead data. And if you want to go and check the, and you can, different parameters, you can, you can do, if, you, if I go to lead here, and then I can also define different statuses. This is the name of the lead, this is the lead owner, this is the CFO, this is the email address, this is the phone number, this is the number of inquiries, 100, this is the source. And the lead status is open. And if I want to change the lead status, I can change lead, lead is, it is cold, warm, do not call, lost, not interested. So that is um, lead management and the console. Benefit of using Salesforce console, so you can get all the different reports, you know, you can get all the different leads by different parameters, different criteria, it's very easily. You can define different filters, different countries, okay, give me all leads, means like a lot of them, I personally use many times that, okay, how many leads I have, in this country versus that country and you know and different parameters and then you can define different parameters in that you can create so these are called filters of the view of the information how many leads are there um, for this person there's no lead for this person how many leads are there for unqualified lead which is an status unqualified so you can put different filters and you can Define different, uh, you can go and check the attributes also if there is any history for pertaining to any kind of useful link. You can assort with any activity, you can attach any document, attach a file here, send an email from there. So it's very user friendly actually. Service crowd. So when the service come into the picture, so now my job, my company selling television, TV. I sold TV and everything is fine. Now customer calls me and the customer has a problem. Now customer is not happy with the TV because the color is not right, it's not working the way it is supposed to work and there's some kind of problem, some issues and all that. Now I want that to be taken care of. So that is where the service comes into the picture. When customer calls and they have any kind of issues. So in the service, you have a case management, you have activities, CTI means computer telephone interface, contract and entitlement, call scripting, agent call, solution management. So all different functions pertaining to taking care of after sales service functions. So in service cloud, you can do emailing, call scripting basically means when somebody calls, then you have a set of questions, you can search information, you can look at the partners, contract management, dashboards, live agents and all these different functions which you can do as a part of service. So customer calls me impact drills not holding is battery charger on power. We open a case 
these are my cases. In fact, Delhi is not opening, and this is the case number one zero one one. This is the description. Send an email. Hi John, this is a known issue. Assign to the person. <coughs> you can have whole history. You can also search. <coughs> if you have a similar case before, you can search any knowledge base as well. Contact management. <coughs> I can define my contacts. So, contact are the people with whom you are working. So, as a customer, my customer is Best Buy, my customer is Home Depot, my customer is Walmart, and Home Depot, my contact is Sean Smith. And I work with a Sean. And this is his job title, that is his account name, this is his phone number, that is his email. You have all <coughs> all this different information pertaining to it, and all different contact rating. This person supports us, not relevant for sale. He's, he has no role in the sale, but he supports us. Where do you find him? We find him trade show. All that information you can define in the contact. Why that is not working? We find out in the case there is a problem in the battery. Now I want to suggest some article. In battery blah blah blah, there is a workflow and it's not working. And then we can also make a phone call. See here. On the right hand side, there is a live chat. And you can do live call also. So you can you if you're using CTI which is computer telephone interface, you can connect your sales um, service CRM and sales CRM to a direct telephone call as well. And you can make a phone call. Phone call could be inbound or it could be outbound. So this is service cloud um, console in that uh, you can see your different cases, status of cases, how many cases are solved, how many are open, where it is assigned to. And you can see that is part of service cloud console. Salesforce IQ CRM, it basically provides you relationship intelligence. Relationship intelligence basically means where you can connect the different dots in different leads, trained of the leads, attribute of the leads putting in some kind of a segmentation criteria. How many leads I have, who I have interest in buying books, intelligence. How many leads I have who have interest, who are living in New Jersey, whose income is between 45,000 and 70,000 IQ. That you can do as a part of Salesforce IQ. So putting all confirmation, putting in intelligence to you, and you can get a better insight out of the box. We can help make better decision because if you're selling to a prospect and a customer, and you need a prospect who is an income, uh, you know, between forty-five to seventy thousand. If you're talking to a customer who is having income for hundred thousand, then you're not talking to the right customer. Or somebody has less than less than forty-five thousand, and if you're talking to that customer, then that is also not the right customer. So you have to make sure. You have right intelligence and segmentation of the customer. Marketing. So we talk about sales, we talked about service, and we talk about marketing. I had mentioned to you in the Salesforce CRM or any CRM for that matter in the world, any CRM functionally, they are all very similar. There are only three processes: marketing, sales, and service. Marketing, finding prospect, sales converting those prospects into a customer. Service is to keep those customers possibly with us by providing a better service. Marketing, sales, and service, only three processes. Now, we talk about sales cycle. In the, if you repeat and recap, in the sales, we talk about some of the functionality. We talk about uh, 
contact management, lead management, opportunity management, reports, analytics, and ability to communicate and chat, all those different functions we discussed as a part of sales. In service, we have talked about some of the functions in service. We talk about case management in which you can have a contact and intelligence related to contact. You can have a CTI integration, which basically means computer tele interface, where a customer can call you and inbound and outbound. You can have a knowledge base in which if you have a problem, customer call if this battery is not up, then you can search in the knowledge base and you can guide based upon knowledge base that what the problem is and could be and how that problem can be solved. That is all part of service and many more. In the marketing cloud, so now marketing is the first part where you are basically creating um, something called Marketing. Marketing is campaigning. Marketing could be done many, many places. Now, you're putting an ad on TV, you're doing marketing. You're sending somebody an email, you're getting marketing. You're making a phone call, you're doing SMS or text message, you're doing marketing. Nowadays, you have a lot of social, social media. Now, social media is one of the important and strong marketing and branding tool these days. When you go to Facebook, you go to Twitter, you go to many other social media sites, you will see there is a huge amount of marketing and campaign going on. You can assist and help and personalize and you can use Salesforce as a platform for the social marketing as well. You see the social listening. Social listening basically means if you have a product, what kind of a comment and behavior you see for your product. Social content, if you have any kind of book, any kind of information, if you have any kind of uh, content, article, all that is included as part of marketing campaign. You have a email studio, um, mobile studio, Social Studio, Web Studio, Advertising Studio. Email Studio, where I want to send mass email. I have a 30,000 prospects and I want to send them email on 4th of July for the new campaign. Email custom. Mobile Studio, I want to send an SMS message to the all contact person's mobile phone. 20,000 email, uh, 20,000 text messages I want to send. Social studio. Social studio basically means where you're using social media, using Facebook, using Twitter, or many other social media sites. A lot of people do web studio. That basically means doing SEO and other things. Advertising studio, when you're advertising, for example, in, a, in newspaper and print media and other places. All those different channels of marketing can be assisted and supported. This is a marketing campaign and customer service. Um, and uh, in the customer service, you can basically do the campaign, you can do service metrics, you can check. Um, this is a, like how many revenues. So you have seminars, you have emails, telemarketing, online ads, banners, internet search. This is a breakup. Some of amount, this is a breakup. This is my customer service metrics in which how many I, I have a new leads, how many I have waiting for the customer uh, cases, how many the closed cases, how the working cases can, you can check. This is a cockpit for you to look into all the different information which matters to you the most. Community cloud, community cloud where basically you can connect your customers, your partners, and your employees. So that is community. So you can define that, okay, who are your customer, who are your partners, who are your employees, and you want a community. You want to chat among them. You want to share the information with them. That sharing and collaboration of all the information between the customers, partners, and employees is part of community cloud.
these are some of the things which you can do in complete plot business integration with different businesses can share the information with each other they can share they can personalize discuss and send the email branding topics and discussions among them so that is part of community cloud in community cloud uh, not many people use but a lot of people use internally though in which everyone can publish uh, their content they can publish uh, their articles they can publish in document um, they can talk to the experts within the community i will give an example like in salesforce also for example there is a community as a part of that community if you have a question you can ask them and they will help you it's not paid it's just community sometimes you can also share file with them this is my problem you can send to them you get a response help and you can also access various applications as well web analytics is basically web based reporting analytic tool in which you can see um, how is my team doing so how my team doing is um, this is my total amount summary 600000 what is my total opportunity by stage oh ho so in the qualification stage i have that many opportunities in the prospecting stage i have that many opportunities in the proposal and quote i have that many opportunity in the come contract and negotiation i have that many opportunities and then i can see aha so i have my in midwest region for these products this is some of the amount i have a closed loss by the region and the product how much i have done by the region and product you can get it and there is web analytics it's a report it's a dashboard app cloud so a lot of these uh, microsoft um, uh, salesforce uh, apps are available you can download them and um, you can go on your mobile devices and you can use those apps on your mobile devices you can download from the store internet iot means internet of things is a new concept possibly next few years will come up more internet of things the concept basically is that how the different data elements or data senses can be connected how come the various element of your data source your mobile phone data source your laptop data source when you are opening a freezer data source when you are studying microwave your data source when you store you when you are stopping at a red light and the camera is making picture of the computer of your car data source how lot of those data sources there are several billion smartphones laptops desktops servers and other digital devices people are talking about non digital devices and how those devices can be connected if we talk about internet internet is nothing but the connection of different servers which is working on tcp protocol that that's what internet is ability to share information using certain protocol across different servers your bunch of pages and billions and billions of pages which is we share by different people that's what we're doing now we expand that i expand data sources beyond your your servers your smartphones many people most people have now billions of them connecting to your fridge or refrigerator in your house is a little too far but that is internet of things how can we connect and make intelligent decision for our life connect with everything is interesting concept okay uh, low cost low risk cloud based solution so of course says for this class way that's a good thing in battery support all browsers is a complete solution is the marketing sales service and various functions 
which you talk about Salesforce required no software to install. No, no software to install. There is no hardware requirement either. So if you want Salesforce, it's completely browser based. So for example, I will show you. So Salesforce, um, and uh, I open my browser. And for Salesforce, what I do, I have a URL, salesforce.com. I have my email ID, I have my password, go, I log in. Any device, I don't, any laptop, I can just, I have my URL, I need my ID password, I'm done. That's the best part of it. And, um, and then whatever functions I have, I get access to it. And that's the benefit of cloud-based basically. It's a cloud-based CRM, low-cost setup, and they keep upgrading three times a year. Um, this is the address in California. Now here, there is something called setup. Now in the setup, we have something called administrative task and build. So when you talk about from the consultant perspective, so administrator basically means you're creating a profile, managing your app, creating a security content, right? all those different things. Now, there is also development where you can write code. That is development. Now, if you go to customize section, that is used very extensively. So there's a huge amount of customization and parameterization. So for example, um, and I will just show you one simple example. So I have a lead. Okay. In the lead, I have, these are the different fields out of the box in the lead. Address, revenue company, created by jigsaw, description, fax number, lead source, uh, status, um, name. Now I will lead the uh, status. Now in the lead status, I want to add a new status. So I have a status called um, cold, do not call, one closed, done, not interested, unqualified, qualified, lost, open. Uh, I want to create new status called in process. Uh, just an example. In process. Or we say, Widget, something meaningful I want to do. Widget, so I have visited the customer. We save it. So we create a new lead status called Widget. So now if I go to lead, and um, if I see any lead, for example, I open and delete, for example. Now here, I will leave the status open. I go to edit. Aha. I will need the status, is it? I can say that is the customization. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you today. And um, first of all, I want to thank you all uh, for coming in here in this late evening, uh, all of you. Uh, Emma, Debya, just in the Ravi, Mohammed Meza. Yeah, before I forget, um, let me give it to you guys uh, my phone number and my email address. I think many of you might have. If you don't, I will give it to you. So, my phone number is nine seven three eight eight five seven two four five my email address is the lip 
P-I-L-I-P at Reconstruction.com. So you are very welcome to write me, email me, um, and phone me if you want to. And uh, that is what I was planning to talk. So with that, 